all time great traveler. No, fuck. <laughs> that might be the best moment in vlog history. I'm talking shit. Let's go to the counter. It's we right need there. Vlog, here we are. It is uh, 9.06 in the morning, Wednesday. Uh, we lost all of Tuesday, you and I? Yeah, we lost all of Tuesday. We'll get back Thursday, um, or Friday. We get Friday or whatever. Anyway, nonetheless, it's the beginning of the end of this ridiculous trip, which is in the last week. I've gone from New York to Oslo to Copenhagen to Moscow to LA to Brisbane to Sydney to Melbourne, back to du- connect in Dubai to New York. That's a lot of fucking travel. Uh, but a whole lot of accomplishments. Uh, the Complex episode. Did you watch the Complex? Who did that? Who rock are you? Yeah. It's really good. It's really, good. really good. Hope you checked out that episode. Got a lot done. Got a lot of Vayner Media meetings in. A lot of culture hacking uh, and some great speeches and some great friends in all these countries. So uh, here's the beginning of the. Uh, what are we here for? 20, 40? 36 30, hours. 36 hours. Three uh, locations in Australia. Epic, epic uh, efforts. So I'm excited. Show Zach. That's Zach, he's attractive, but he's being inappropriate with scheduling me this hardcore. You know, Zach, have you ever ever heard of the the marathon versus the sprint? I mean, you're gonna kill the golden goose here. Good to see you, man. How are things? Do you remember me by chance? Remind me. I'm horrible with faces. 20 months ago, you're not supposed to remember. I'll remember if you tell me the story, but face was a bad. Let's go Q&A, uh, San Diego, TNC conference. I said you were super good looking. And I was... Yeah, I remember. <laughs> <laughs> Told you I'd remember. Told you I'd remember. About to destroy Australian faces. Hey, it's Gary. Um, call me back. I just want to discuss this position and make sure everybody's aligned on it uh, and, uh, and talk it through. You guys over communicate and I'll make a call on Monday. So, love you. Give me a call. See ya. Bye. <laughs> from spe- getting myself hyped for a pre-speech to addressing operational issues at VaynerMedia. This shit can go real fast back and forth. <laughs> Stuff can change up real quick. By the way, real fun fact, I adore pears. I think pears are stunningly underrated. Do you agree? I am. What up everybody, it's Gary Vee. Uh, super excited to uh, be hitting the stage any second. Babbin on the ones and twos. Uh, super interested. I have no idea what I'm going to be talking about. Uh, that is just basically the way I roll. Uh, you know, improv from the beginning till the end every time. And uh, I hope you guys enjoy it. See ya. I think that there's way too many people in this audience that are in the excuse business. I've, uh, and yeah, and it's it's tough because I'm empathetic. There's always things. You know, you could have two parents that were drug addicts. You could have lost your parents in a car accident when you were a kid. You could have had your money stolen to you by a partner. There's so many things that happen in life. I'm super empathetic to it. The ultimate problem is though, is that the market, the world doesn't care. Like, it's really interesting. To me, life is pretty binary. It's either black or white. It's either yes or no. And the one that matters to me the most is you're either on the offense in your life right now or you're on the defense. You're either coming up with reasons why not, all this technology, all this stuff, why not, or why yes, all this technology, all this stuff. You're looking at things and you're making a decision. More importantly, being a successful entrepreneur is a skill set, right? And it's one that comes natural to some and others, not as much. It's a fun thing to be right now and everybody wants to and the opportunity is very real. I'm a great entrepreneur, but I think I'm even better at consumer behavior and psychology. 
It's who I am, it's why a lot of you follow me because when you cut me down, you see that I'm pushing positivity and a whole lot of other things that matter and trying to get people to do it the right way. Be patient, do the right thing, da 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 My friends, you need to get yourself in the right place mentally and then you need to get yourself in the right place mentally because the thing that people have not wrapped their head around is that this takes a lot of work. Like a lot, a lot. Not a little something. And if you aspire, let me just ground this. If you think you're gonna make a million dollars a year, which is funny the way people throw that out. Like everybody gets there. Almost nobody gets there, right? If you wanna make $500,000 a year, which would put you in the disproportionate top 1% of income getters here in Australia. If you wanna make $100,000 a year and like doing it and it's on your terms and it's your life, it takes a lot of work. And it takes a lot of smart work. The thing I talk a whole lot about is hustle. The thing I talk less about is being smart because I don't think that brings you any value. So what I do is I try to come and speak or through my actions show you the smart things that I'm doing and then remind you that it's still hard work. The framework is simple. This is simple. You may have not allowed yourself to have the honest conversation with yourself of how much hard work and how much patience it takes to be successful but it doesn't change the fact that that's the case. You've never met anybody in your life who hasn't worked their face off for a long time that's built something significant. It may seem that it happened fast because they're 27, but maybe they've been hustling since they were 13 in a different way that gave them 14 years of experience to be a winner in that game. And so, please, please wrap your head around what we're actually doing here, and more importantly, if you were smart enough to be here today, and I mean this, the fact that you came here today puts you so far ahead of everybody else, and I hate knowing for fact that so many of you are gonna give up your advantage because you like hearing me say it and you like the way it feels but then you leave and you don't do anything about it. So please, Brisbane, do me a favor. Go do something about this talk today. I implore you, it will change the course of your career. Thank you. Nice and solid. What up, vlog? Uh, Babin and I, successful so far. Uh, good stop, on the way to Sydney. Good energy, good talks, good stuff, good life. Let's go. I got one. The Vayner part. Output in the production world at a lower cost. All time great traveler. No, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> that might be the best moment in vlog history. I'm talking shit. Let's go to the camera. Hey, right Off to Sydney. You know, different cities, same back of the seat. <laughs> Conversation, me and Babin uh, now on our way to our Sydney talk. Weather's beautiful. It's a beautiful city overall. Your first uh, Sydney trip, huh, Babs? Happy for you. Hi, how are you? I'm Emma. Emma, nice to meet you. Very nice. <laughs> <laughs> is that what this is called? Yeah, well, you're right. Yeah. Yeah. I can just imagine you go home and say, where were you this week? You go, oh, Australia, oh, did you have a holiday? Did you go to Ezra? They all know how I roll. I'm sure you recognize him, Mitch. Oh, that's awesome. I love that. Yeah, I want to do something different. Thank you. Thank you, I'm excited. Always a pleasure. Thank you, mate. It's amazing to me. I introduced a lot of famous people, and a lot. And so many people speak so highly of who you are backstage, which is not always the case with speeches. That's right. Sense. Thank you for saying that. I mean, I, I mean you're so uber cool backstage. And then Thank you. That. Thank you. I mean, there's not. I literally got done just saying in Melbourne, uh, in uh, Brisbane, that 
my entire focus is what people say behind my back. And to, and to have you say that. Well, because, you know, we've all, I mean, I, I've been in yeah. people for 20 years. Sure. And you get a real you read. You on there is very different. To, you know, can, be, heard. can be, can I've be, heard. can be, can be. You're, you're someone that you would have around your house to eat dinner with and just have a chat I with appreciate you saying that. Thanks for saying cool. that. Zero ego. And anyway. Thank you for saying that. Thank you. Appreciate it. I'm extremely optimistic. I'm extremely positive what's going on. And it's all because of the framework of this talk. This thing. You have to, how many people do not have a cell phone? Raise your hand. Cool. <laughs> Zero, by the way, for everybody in the front rows. This thing is ridiculously powerful. This thing is the remote control of our society. This thing has eliminated every excuse out of your fucking mouth. Because if you have to work nine to six to pay the bills, to pay your dues, to pay your debts, that is exactly right and appropriate. Everybody comes from different starting points. I have unbelievable empathy to that. The exciting thing though is that our grandparents didn't have this thing. They had to work nine to six, nine to seven, and then there was only so much upside that they could create for themselves long term from seven to two in the morning. This thing has fundamentally changed everything and I just think we take it for granted. I really wish everybody understood the power that's literally sitting in their hands right now. This is literally a media creation and distribution tool that would have cost tens of millions of dollars if you understand distribution. The technology probably cost $20,000 you know, 25 years ago. Cameras, this, that, fine. The distribution? You would have had to shoot a satellite into space. You would have had to buy a printing press. You would have had to buy trucks. You would have had done so much. The fact that every person here can literally turn this on themselves, create content around something they're interested in, and then have platforms like YouTube and Facebook and Instagram and Twitter and LinkedIn distribute it, let me remind you, at no cost, is so batshit crazy for all of us old fuckers in here that I just wish people would not take it for granted. And so my friends, I come here tonight to really try to pull off one move. Can I actually take somebody, even if they're a huge fan, or if they've never heard of me before, and tweak their perspective on what's actually going on? Can I convince one of you that nobody gives a shit about your headaches and problems And when you complain, you're just taking minutes off the board and energy off the board from doing something about it. Literally, I am fascinated by the inability to be held accountable. I am fascinated that you actually are coming up and spending energy and trying to say why you're not successful because your older brother did some shit in 1996. (laughs) And so, self-awareness and humility and empathy and all these warm and fuzzy things that grandma talks about happen to be the biggest secrets in the rough and tumble game of business. I highly recommend you get in touch with those emotions. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks for having me. All right, now really lose your fucking minds. Here we go. Go. <laughs> Love you guys. Thank you. Great job. Let's start. How are you? Great to see you. My pleasure. Really good. Matthew, how are you? Good. How are you? You enjoyed it? Yes, I did. Okay. Love everything you do, man. That was great, Gary. Thank you. you. You shook your head on a certain point early on. Yeah. I don't know if it was about crypto or something, but it was something, and I saw you, and I was like, he gets it. Oh, it was about underpriced. I said everything's priced appropriately Correct. or overpriced, and you shook your head, and I was like, he gets it. Yeah. Take care, you. mate. That was a good one. 
open. Stop, bro. Can we stop for a second? Yeah, I'll hop out for a second. Gary V! Oh, Gary! What's up, what's up, what's up, what's up? What's up? Hi! What up, Fiji? What up, Fiji? Yeah! You sure you got that? Because I'm not sure. I love it. Do you like that? Do you like that? How good was that? Do you like the shout out? Is that good? Macro Mules, what's up? See ya, see ya, see ya, see ya. Bye, guys! Yeah. Love you guys. Doing the right thing is always the right thing. Great curse on probably see four years probably close. Yeah? Now I'm recording. Fabian, what do you think? Give us a little recap. Um, big day. Flew from LA. Mel LA <laughs> to Brisbane. Brisbane to Melbourne. Nope, we're from no. Sydney. All right, I'll take over here, Bam. You stay behind the camera. All right, great day. Got a lot done. Big themes, mindset, and execution. Clouds and fucking dirt, motherfuckers. Clouds and dirt.